My Apple Watch Ultra with the new green Alpine loop just arrived. Let's check them out together. Hi, this is David of tech for baba a channel I share my experiences on how technology enhances my time with kids and family as a dad. If this is your first time here, welcome. Please consider subscribing to the channel. In today's video, Let's unbox the first redesigned Apple Watch, the Apple Watch Ultra, and the new green Alpine Loop. So exciting. No more talking. Let's do it. The packaging is also new. The box is now shorter and fatter. Apple Watches have always come in long boxes like this one. The paper material is also different. It's a rougher off-white color, not as smooth as before. It does open the same way by lifting these two tabs in the back. Ah, nice graphic of snowy mountain on the inside of the cover, setting up a good context for this rugged sport watch. A big booklet, also new. Nice colorful pictures of the Ultra with three new types of straps, Alpine, Ocean, and Trail. A quick setup guide, introduction to the buttons and features of the watch. And a couple of new watch faces exclusive to the Ultra. Nice. Similar to before, the watch comes in its own separate box, and there's another box for the watch band. Alright, let's check out the watch first. There are these two pull tabs on the bottom to tear open the box. Satisfying as usual. There it is. Hmm, the watch looks kind of big as expected. It no longer comes in a pouch just wrapped in paper like many other Apple products. Hmm, it's heavier than I thought. I thought it'd be lighter with the titanium body. Not heavy by all means, just not as light as I thought it'd be. On the right is the charging puck. It says designed by Apple in California, and staying with the adventure theme, the latitude and longitude. Cute. Also new. The charging puck now has a braided cable, very soft and comfortable. The Ultra is large for an Apple Watch, the largest ever at 49mm. It's bigger in all dimensions. I measure the case to be 49mm long indeed, by 44mm wide, and 14.4mm thick. Much bigger than the 44mm Apple Watch 6 I have here. Even though it's made of titanium, it's also heavier at about 61 grams. Not bad for a big watch like this, and still much lighter than stainless mechanical watches I'm used to. The big display is now all flat instead of curved, and these edges on the top are surprisingly sharp. Have to be careful not to scratch things or another person with it. The antenna for the new dual frequency GPS is right underneath these edges. On the right, there are the familiar digital crown and the side button. They're more protected now by a rather large crown guard. The digital crown is bigger with deeper grooves that's easier to turn. However, since there's now a crown guard, it can only be turned from the top or the bottom, not all the way around like a normal Apple Watch. On the left, there's this new large obvious action button in international orange. Various actions can be assigned to this button for quick access. On the bottom of the watch, there are the sensors, and the bottom cover is in this cream color ceramic. It's held down more securely by these four screws. Overall, I think this is a nice looking watch. The build quality is great. It's big, but not too big for a sport watch. It may be harder to dress up with it though, since it has a much more rugged look than a normal Apple watch. Now, the new Alpine Loop. While the featured bright orange Alpine loop matches very nicely with the orange button on the Ultra, I picked the green one because I prefer a more subtle look. I think I may also like the trail loop too, since the sport loop has been my go-to band for many years. Alright, let's open this up and check it out. There is a pull tab on the side to tear open the box. Good, instruction on how to put on the band. 
I still need help with which end goes on which end of the watch sometimes. The tray pulls out and here's the band. Just a sheet pointing to user guide and warranty information. Nothing else. The Alpine loop is quite thin. Thinner than the sport loop. It has these small loops on one side for the hook to go into when putting on the watch. It's stretchy, but just a little bit. Let's put it on and see how it looks on my wrist. Coming from the sport loop, this new Alpine loop is a bit harder to put on and take off since I need to get this hook into and out of one of these small loops. I think it'll take some time to get used to. Once it's on though, I find it just as comfortable as the sport loop and it's even more secure. I will report back after I have a chance to wear this and try out its many new features for a week or two. I'm still not sure if this ultra watch is too ultra for a not so extreme dad like me. So subscribe to the channel and come back to hear my experience with it. It does wear quite big on my thin 6.4 inch or 162 millimeter wrist. What do you think? I do prefer bigger watches in general, so this doesn't feel too big to me. I went with the medium sized Alpine loop and the metal hook sits about in the center of the bottom of my wrist, which is about right. And I think the green works well with the watch too. Thanks for watching. If you find any part of this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and share this video with your friends. Are you also a not so extreme person considering the Apple Watch Ultra? I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comment section below. If you want to see more videos on how technology can enhance our life with kids and family, please subscribe and turn on the bell to be notified when I put out my next video. I'll see you in the next one. Until then, remember to cherish each moment.